Breaking news, guys. Legosians cry to Tunubu. Says, Mwike's injustice as FCT minister wins the gate crisis in Nigeria. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, guys, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, I beg, subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. I beg, not forget, you know, to, to like us. Drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you, my people. A group under consigned citizens of Nigerian umbrella nation wide said the Minister of Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Barrister Sonwike, is punitive and capable to divide Nigeria along regional and ethnic lines. The group during a World Press conference with Dr. Joseph Janbani to have addressed journalists at Conton Gate Hotel, uh, First at Lagos, cried for justice on the behalf of in Integrated Facilities Management Service Limited under the good management of his managing director. Senator Abubakar Ahmed, whose contract with Abuja Investment Company Limited was illegally revoked. Jabani said the implications of revoking the contract with IFML are dire, both domestically and internationally. According to him, domestically, it sends a message of instability and unpredictability to investors, shaking their confidence in the Nigerian government's commitment to honoring contracts and fostering a conducive business environment. And the international implications, according to Jabani, it tarnishes Nigerians' reputation as a reliable partner for investments and collaboration. Overseas investments, investors who have been hiring opportunities, okay, who have been hiring opportunities in Nigeria may now reconsider their plans in light of this obstruct decision leading to potential loss of investment and stunned economic growth, he said. Called President Bola Metinubu, Senate President, the Speaker, the Speaker, the Federal House of Representatives, the Traditional Leaders Council of Obath, the Chief, the Southern Region, and the Good People of Nigeria, about the unfriendly and aggressive tactics employed by Barrister Yeson Wiki in superintending over the FCT is pattern of finding frauds and instigating conflicts with striving businesses based on personal interest and differences is not only alarming, but detrimental to the economic growth and stability of the FCT. We are calling on President Bola Tinubu and leaders of thought and good Nigerians to intervene in this matter and upon the integrity of the contract with Integrated Facilities Management Service, IFML, continuing the partnership with IFMA is not just a matter of business, okay, but a demonstration of Nigerians' commitment to harboring agreements or honoring agreements and fostering a conducive environment for both local and international investors. We call upon the government to uphold the principles of fairness, transparency, and accountability in governance, and to ensure that individuals like Minister Nwike, who prioritize personal interests over the welfare of the nation, are held accountable for their actions. It is imperative that we protect protect the interests of businesses and investors in the FCT and create an environment that 
fosters growth, innovation, and prosperity for all. Minister Nwike's actions have no place in a government that seek to promote progress and development. And it's, it, it's time for the federal government to take decisive action to remedy this situation, Jabani stated. Nwike's act for taking illegal and extrajudiciary actions against businesses and individuals not only deter undermines the rule of law, but also works directly against the interests of the federal government. His actions create an atmosphere of uncertainty and hostility that is detrimental to investment and development in the FCT. Yes, on Wiki, in his usual combative style, had announced in the media the purported cancellation of the facility management of International Conference Center for no justification, no address to due processes, much as there was no justifications and fair hearing. This purported action by Mr. Nwike is at best legal punitive, totally strange, and to variance with any known protocols and procedures of handling such matters. For some years now, Integrated Facilities Management Service uh, Limited, IFMSI, has diligently and effectively managed the International Conference Center, ensuring his smooth operation and upkeep under their stewardship. The, 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 the center has flourished, becoming a beckham of excellency. Excellence in hosting international conference events and gatherings. The work of Integrated Facilities Management Service Limited has not only been exemplary but also crucial for the growth and development of Nigeria. Their dedication to maintaining the International Conference Center of the highest standard has attracted local and overseas investors boosting economic activity and fostering international relations. The federal government must take swift and decisive, uh, decisive make barrister Nwike to respect law and order, as well as contractual agreements and processes in the FCT mini ministry, allowing him to continue unchecked will only lead to further erosion of investor uh, confidence and cripple the potential for economic growth and prosperity in the federal capital territory. In conclusion, we further urge Mr. President to consider the long-term implication of the decision and act in the best interest of Nigerians' economy, prosperity, and international standard. So guys, what's your take on this? And I don't hear we didn't talk so kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. Thank you.